All right, folks, uh, my next guest is the CEO of one of the hottest stocks in the market, the uh, quantum computing market, all of the market, though. Let's bring in D-Wave System CEO, Alan Barretson. Alan, uh, so, so we got D-Wave Quantum uh, in the past year up just 3,231%, golly. And, and it keeps getting better. So you had a major significant announcement today. Uh, you're make, uh, making quantum computing available to the U.S. government. The way I read it, it feels like it's really a big deal with the Defense Department. Give us the details on that. Yep, sure. So first of all, Charles, thanks for uh, having me on. It's a pleasure to speak with you again today. Uh, U.S. government quantum efforts took an important step forward today. Uh, we announced that we had completed the installation and calibration of an Advantage II quantum computer at Davidson Technologies headquarters in Huntsville, Alabama. Now, Davidson Technologies is a U.S. government contractor that we have been working with on the development of quantum applications for national defense and national security. These are applications like military logistics or missile placement. And really exciting, the next step in this partnership is that we will be securing this system so that we can run classified applications on it. That would make it the first quantum computer certified for classified government applications. Speaking of the government, uh, a week ago, was a lot of speculation that the administration was considering investing in the quantum space, considering what's at stake, uh, big, big news, for instance, out of China today on quantum. Do you think it would be a good idea for, for the government, this administration, to add some mo money and muscle in the U.S.'s effort to stay in front? Yeah. So, so, Charles, I have maybe a little bit different take on this. First of all, I think that the Department of Commerce came out after that um, kind of report and said that they are not right. negotiating equity stakes in quantum companies. But here's my take on it. Uh, first of all, D-Wave quantum systems are very powerful quantum computers today. They've been used by the ULIC Supercomputing Center in Germany to model the creation of the universe, providing new insights. They've been used to compute properties of materials that can't be computed classically, so quantum supremacy. They've been used to solve business and societal problems. For example, North Wales Police in the UK has used us for forward placement of emergency vehicles and personnel to reduce the time for incidents response. And now they're being used as a part of AI machine learning. Japan Tobacco is using us to create new drug molecules. Introducing the quantum computer into the AI process allows them to run faster with better quality solutions and lower energy consumption. So we have systems that are useful today. My view is that the U.S. government should invest in these systems purchase the systems, use them to solve the hard government computational problems, and then if they want to take an equity stake in the company alongside of that, I'd be perfectly happy to support that. All right. That's great. That's, uh, that's, that's good to know. That's fantastic news. And uh, just 30 seconds ago, you, you know, a year ago, I'm not sure how much of any coverage you had. Now on Wall Street, you've got 10, cover, 10 folks covering you, either strong buys or buys. A lot of people who watch this show love your stock. They're on, they're with you. You report earnings later this week. Just what would you want to tell shareholders of your company right now that, should they, that they should know? Yeah. So the most important thing is that we are focused every single day on building a great valuable business to reward our investors. They're amazing investors. They're committed to the company, and we're committed to them. All right. Alan, fantastic. I mean, you are the real deal. I said it the first time I met you, and I continue to say it. Congratulations with everything. Appreciate it. Thanks, Charles. I All appreciate right. it. See you soon.